Welcome to the SysTools Mail Examiner version 4.8.5 features and functionality video series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add keyword lists, and then we will work with the keywords on the Keywords tab in Mail Examiner. Starting with the keyword lists. At case creation, Mail Examiner allows keywords to be added prior to processing. These keywords can be added individually, or you can add a CSV file containing the keywords. As an example, let's say that you are the neutral evidence custodian in a civil case. One of your tasks may be to provide to the plaintiff responsive files that the defendant agreed to turn over based on keywords and a date range that were decided on in a meet and confer meeting. You could import those keywords at case creation and have them automatically search during case processing. You could then simply export the responsive files for review. There are a couple of ways of generating keyword lists. It is recommended that you request from your client an emailed list of words that they want searched. Once you have this list, you will have to add the words to a CSV file. For the manual entries, we click in the Keywords search window, and we can add single keywords separated by a comma. Next, we can add the predefined CSV list. When this case is finished processing, these words will have been searched and files containing the keywords will be immediately accessible for analysis in the search window. Next, we will look at these keywords on the search tab. Once we are on the search tab, we can start by expanding the keywords filter. The keywords filter allows us to narrow our focus to these files that contain the keywords that we added when we created the case. To see the files with individual keywords, you can check one of the keywords and click the search button. When it is done searching, note the numbered results on the various tabs across the top of the search window that show the files that contain the keyword. If there are multiple pieces of evidence in your case, by choosing the Scan Files option, we can select one or more evidence items and have the search limited to just those items. To see this, we will check a single piece of evidence and we will select the keyword we want to search. When the search is complete, we see the resulting files are filtered just to show the selected evidence file items that contain the keyword that we checked. Next is the Keywords tab. In the tree, we see the list of keywords that we added when we created the case. These are the manual keywords as well as the ones that were included in the CSV file. As we select the various keywords, we see the responsive files show up in the list. We can click the tabs across the top of the interface to see the various types of files that contain that particular keyword. If we had a case scope that restricted us to files responsive to particular keywords, then here is where you would start your case. When we are done with our case and you want to generate a report, you can generate a keyword report from the Report tab. In this report, you can generate a report for all or selected keywords by using a filter. In the filter box, we can type the keyword that we want to generate the report for. When we click Preview, we will see the results to the right of the interface. We see that we get the statistics on the keywords that we're generating the report for which we can then export to one of the report formats. If we want to see all of the keywords, we can leave the filter blank and click Preview. This will generate a report for all of the keywords as well as the hit count for each keyword. This concludes the SysTools Mail Examiner Features and Functionality video. For more information, please visit www.mailexaminers.com. Thank you for watching.